Hello, Brandy Patterson here. I have a fun tip to share with you. This is a little trick I learned a couple years ago when I thought that I had to keep adding paint onto a canvas in order to make it better. And actually, that's not always completely true. Have you ever wondered how can you remove paint from a canvas after it's dry. And this technique I use is really simple and it uses really basic supplies that you probably already have in your home or you can get it at the pharmacy or the grocery store. So what you will need is a jar, relatively large one, of isopropyl alcohol ventilation. So the higher the alcohol rate, it could get a little bit more fumy. I would recommend a sponge of some kind. Again, you probably have one lying around. Could be the sponge you use to wash your dishes with. A tip would be some baby wipes or some rags, which could be towels, old t-shirts, cloth diapers you don't use anymore. Those are the supplies you're going to need to use this technique that I'm going to show you how to remove dried paint, acrylic paint from a canvas. This will actually lift paint layers very gently uh, off of a canvas. So I will take this alcohol directly out of the bottle, pour it, pour it, let it set a few minutes. Take a sponge or a cloth, paper towels, and gently buff the area where I want the paint to come away. Now, depending on how far you want to go down is how much alcohol you put on. You might only want to have a small layer being taken off, you might want to go quite a ways down to some of those really initial under layers. Just be careful of how much you take off. Again, little by little. You need to have a rag nearby to wipe because it does get very dirty and muddy and it's hard to see how much needs to come off how much you want to remain. I just use the baby wipe to clean that surface because it can get a little bit muddy. It can get a little bit brown with all of the paint that's being removed. This is a really good way to get some of that off. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think and leave a comment below. Thank you.